Dylan's Don't Think Twice. It is a classic. It's also really difficult, so watch my previous videos on Travis finger picking if you haven't already. Um, there's a lot of complex patter patterns, but we're going to take it slow and break each one down. And you can work on them individually. So if it seems too hard to, to seam them, put them all together seamlessly, you can work at one at a time, bookmark this video, practice that one pattern a ton, come back to this video, and by the end, it's going to be awesome and impressive and you will have learned a whole bunch about finger picking. Good luck. Let's get started. Let's skip the intro and start straight away on the verse as it happens way more often in the song. We have standard tuning, capo on the fourth fret. Begin with a C chord, but not the standard one. I want your ring finger to go to the sixth string and your pinky to take the place of where the ring finger was. That way you can play all six strings, which is really important because the thumb uses all those notes. Now, you've got to make sure you've already have this idea down, where your thumb is actually playing a three note pattern. Fifth, fourth, sixth, fourth. And that's got to be second nature. You should be able to have a conversation with your friends or sing a song, right? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, whatever. You know, juggle. Juggle while you're playing with your other hand, something. That should be really easy. Now, we're going to break this down into steps. The next melody note, or the note you're going to add to that thumb pattern, is this. When I play the fourth string with my thumb on the second beat, I'm adding the second string with my middle finger. And then we'll just finish it off with the thumb together on the D, six, fourth. Practice that. Pause the video. Now let's add the next one. So on an AND beat, I'm adding the third string with my index finger. One, two, three, AND. One, two, three, AND. Then the thumb's four on the fourth string. One, together on two, three, AND, four. And remember, the thumb is always doing down beats. One, two, three. Pause, practice, get that down. Here's the next step. One, two, three, and four, and. The and of the four is my middle finger again on the second string. One, two, three, and four, and. One is alone, two is together. Three, and four, and. There's another angle here. That's not helpful, how about this one? Now we have our G7 chord, the second chord in the verse. Um, the right hand's easier, but the left hand's harder. Let's investigate the right hand first. So, similar pattern, thumb now is only skipping between the sixth and the fourth, so get that down. Then, here, check this out, we have one and is on the third string with my index. One. Um, yeah, one and two, thumb, index on the third, thumb. Now, I won't do the hammer on, there's a hammer on uh, with my left hand, but I'll just do this for now, we'll talk about the hammer on later. So one and two, now we go to the high E string. Now, I have some classical background training, so I use my ring finger. A lot of players don't, that's totally fine. Merle Travis is nuts and he only uses these two. So whatever you're comfortable with, um, you can reach the middle to get it. You can use your ring finger. I would recommend using more than just the index, but you know what, to each their own. Um, so we have... Then back to the third string. So it's your melodies between the third and the first. So it's third, first, third, one and two and and four. Now we have this cool little hammer on. When I hit that high E string, I'm lifting it first. I'm playing it open and then hammering on. First fret. 
and it's going to be really confusing at first because when that left hand happens, your right hand's going to want to do something, and you're going to have to fight that urge. Uh, spend a lot of time on that. So together we have C to the G7. The two patterns are different. So practice each one separate. Both are awesome, and each pattern alone can be applied to a cool song that you wrote. So get those down before you move on to the next chord. Well done. This pattern is a lot of fun with the right hand. Um, we're going to do it on A minor. It's pretty similar to what we already did on C. Um, again, our thumb is doing a, a three-string thing. Fifth, fourth, sixth, fourth. So we have thumb, then thumb together with the second string on beat two. Thumb alone for beat three. The index on the third string plays the and of that third third beat. One, together, three, and four. All right, now we have the next note. One, together, three, and four, and. So the and of four is either your ring or your middle on the top string on the high E. One, together, three, index, four, ring or middle, whatever you're doing on the top string. One, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, and four. So the second half of it, you don't have to play the top one again. So let's do the second half of the pattern. One, together, three, and four. So it's thumb together on the second string, alone on the third, alone. So the whole pattern, one, two, three, and four, and one. The second half is the same, but no and on the top string. One, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, and four. Hey, this F chord is awesome and super fun too. So this is a great pattern as well. Um, uh, the way I play my F chord, it's too hard to bar it. You don't have freedom of fingers to do anything else. So I ignore the high E. We're not going to play it for now. First fret on the second string. Uh, third, sorry, second fret on the third string. Third fret on the fourth string. Sorry, I'm pretending the capo is zero, right? One, two, three. It's a standard F chord, but I'm not worrying about barring it. I'm just doing that. And now I'm using my thumb to get that low first fret. The thumb's doing a simple pattern, right? Just back and forth, six to fourth. get this cool little hammer on with your thumb. If you're not used to the thumb, it's going to take a while. Um, even just playing this might take a while. But I assure you with time, it'll work um, and you'll get used to it. It actually becomes like really convenient and easy because now I have freedom of my, my pinky. I can do these hammer-ons, pull-offs. So that's why it's, it's valuable. If I'm stuck like this, barring, it's a lot harder to do all those cool tricks. All right, so we have our thumb doing this. We've seen this before, right? One, and it's together. I'm playing the melody note on the second string. Three, and is on the third string with my index. Right? Then we have a cool little hammer on there. One, two, three, and four. So the second half, I'm hammering. And then my thumb's alone on beat two. The end of two is the second string. Back to the low thumb, and my melody notes on the third string. Finish off with the thumb. If you ever get confused, always remember to break it down to basics and count, right? One, two, three. That's a fun one. Cool. Well done, guys. You're doing great. Keep going slow and keep at it. hey -o. Now we're almost done with the first half of the first verse, but a lot of it repeats. So we go back to the C and the G7, and that ends our verse. So the whole thing, C, G7, A minor, to the F, that hammer, C, G7, C, G7. 
going to the F, we go to a D7, two, one, two, with an F sharp in the bass using my thumb. Oh, sorry, let's do that pattern again. It's hard to hear what's happening on the record, but, but um, I'm giving it this cool melody movement. He's doing something weird, but it's fast and, and choppy, and it's hard to tell on the recording. But here, so my thumb is just doing this sixth string to the fourth string back and forth, right? Nothing fancy. But then we have, so one, two is together with the second string. And then that and is on the third string. So one, together on the second, thumb, index on the third, thumb. the high E string with that second fret down, right, the D7 chord. Then I'm lifting that finger up to get my open melody note. Then I'm going to hit the second string to get that melody note. And they're all on the and beat. One, two, three, and four, and. So the melody notes, second string, or sorry, first string, lift your finger up, first string again, second string, and then the third string. And they're all in between the thumbs. We finished the verse almost. We have one last chord. This cool moving G7, it's like a G. I'm not worrying about my pinky here because we're not going to hit the high string. So just this third finger, third fret. And then my second finger is going to get added to the fourth string on the second fret. And then my pinky gets added to the third fret. So we kind of walk up. Really cool tension. So thumbs just back and forth between the uh, sixth and the fourth. One, I'm together with the second string there. One, together with the second string. Thumb, then index on the third string. But I'm also adding on the left hand, this middle finger here. Right, one, two, three, and four. Right at that, we're gonna wait till the last second to do it, because this string is already ringing open D. I don't wanna do it too soon. One, two, three, and four. Right as I'm about to hit that thumb there, I'm, I'm dropping my middle finger and my left hand down at the same time. Then I'm doing thumb alone. Then I'm dropping my pinky as I play the second string as well with my uh, right hand middle. Ending three and four is just thumb, third string, thumb. Really cool, slow again. One, together, thumb, and a thumb, but I have that left hand melody note. If you've made it this far, you are a heck of a finger picker. We've got the whole verse down. Let's do the whole thing together here. C, G7, A minor, to the F, C, G7, C, G7, A minor, to the D7, G, G6, G7. Yes! Brilliant! Go slow. You'll get there. This has been awesome. I'm going to do a whole other video on the chorus because this is already going to be a really long video. But go slow. If you have questions, please comment below. 
uh, one chord at a time, one pattern at a time. You can spend a month on one pattern. Do not worry about it. If this isn't your skill level yet, you know, it's good to push the boundaries and, and try to do some new stuff, but by no means are you going to get this in in an evening or, um, you know, even, even in a month. It, it's going to be a long-term project, but then you'll have it all together and it'll sound awesome and you'll impress your friends and all right, cool. But if you got this down, if you're better than me or you're, you're just like cruising through it, then I will post um, the chorus in another video and you can find that in the link hopefully soon. All right, later guys, bye. And I promise next time I won't wear this muscle shirt. <laughs>